Hello, in this tutorial, I'll be going over some of the features that are available in Box Drive um, on the folder that's located on your computer. For this demonstration, I'll be using my MacBook, but the features and the icons for those features are, are similar to what you will see on your PC. So let's get started. So I'm going to be using this box presentation files folder um, to show what the uh, new features that are available. Uh, some of the features are new, some of them are, are um, I've always been there, especially if you've used um, Box Sync. But um, we'll go over all that's available. So as you can see, the first thing is that there's this um, icon that looks like a cloud. And that is letting you know that these files um, are saved in your Box account and they're actually, um, whatever you see on your computer in your box folder are also what's in your box online account. And so what it's also saying is that it's being streamed directly from your, from our, from their cloud servers, from Box's cloud um, storage server. And whatever changes that you make on your computer automatically get streamed up to your box account. So, some, so how can you access some of these features that are available um, in your Box Drive folder? If you uh, select the folder and then right click on the folder, there's a section just for Box. So the first one um, is pretty simple. Um, you've selected on that folder. If you wanted to view the contents of that folder in your Box account, Box Online account rather than on your computer, you would click on that. So what happens when you click on that link, it would automatically open um, using your default uh, web browser and then prompt you to enter your Goucher credentials if you weren't already logged in. The next one is actually pretty new. This one was made available October 31st and it's making available files offline. So again, with Box Drive, all your files are accessible um, via streaming. And in order to stream, you have to be on the internet. If you're not on the internet, it can, can't really connect to, those um, to your files. So when you're not on the internet and you try to go to your Box file folder, it'll say that it's not accessible because it can't access. Asset. Um, so, but now what you can do is you can now make those files available. You can select which folders that you want to make available offline. And this is especially helpful if you travel a lot and you don't know how good the internet access will be or if you, if you even have internet access. Um, and then the next option is to create a box note. These are just simple notes similar to what you would see for like WordPad or Notepad. And you can make um, simple notes um, in those folders. The other option is share where you have three um, options to share. So, but I wanna fo first focus on the make available offline option. So let's say I wanted to make this folder available offline. I just select that. And then you should then see that the uh, cloud icon switches to uh, a check mark in a green circle. So that's letting me know that that folder and its contents are available offline. And if you see the contents of that folder, um, you'll see that there's two different types of icons. Now, the ones that with the, the check mark are saying, okay, those are offline. And, but there's also a new one. This one is um, the red lock symbol. Now this is great because what happens now, now that you have, um, you can access these files offline, what if you are sharing a file and somebody wants to edit it on their end, but you're not uh, connected to the internet, but you need to make changes as well. What you can do is you can lock the file um, and then make um, any changes um, that you want without, um, without anyone else um, interfering which is great, but what you wanna do is you wanna make sure, I'm gonna go ahead and um, make this available online again. Okay, and you see how quickly the icons change back. So these are back online. So let's say I'm gonna uh, click on this My Document to here. And what you want to do is if you want to make a file avail available offline and also locked, you want to lock it first because the lock um, signal needs to go to your Box Online account so that other, pe other people know that that, account, um, that file is locked. So I'm just going to go ahead and right click on there and then click lock file. 
So that symbol, I get a message that it's been locked and the symbol eventually changes to a lock symbol. So great. So now that I have that file locked, I know no one else can touch it. Now I can make this folder um, available offline for me to work on. Now you'll notice that if when I right click on this file again, that there is no make available offline for individual files. Let me show you with another file. It's not available. You can only make folders available offline. Okay, so now I have that as make available offline and make available online, only folders. So if there is a particular file that you wanna make available offline, you need to put it in a folder and then make that folder available offline. So just because these uh, few files here from bagels and box down to how to um, are showing that it's um, available offline, that doesn't necessarily mean that these other ones with the locks are not available offline. They are available offline, but the they just also want to show that they're locked so that you can go ahead and make edits to them. So those edits will be saved onto your computer. And then once you get online and those files are made available online again, they will then stream to your to your account. And so if somebody tried to access those files that you did lock um, um, that you were sharing with, then they'll get a message saying that you can't make any edits that they'll be locked. Now, let's say you forget to lock a file and you are making changes while you're online. Um, Box will save both copies. So if somebody else was making the a change um, the same time you were or made a change to a same uh, paragraph as you, um, Box will keep both copies. Whoever um, started it first, that will be the main copy, uh, the, main, the main file, and then the other one will be the copy of that file. So then you can look at those two versions and see either merge them together or see which one has the right information that you're looking for. Okay, so that's uh, making files available online, making files available offline, and locking those files. Now the other feature which um, will be beneficial is the share. Now there's three ways that you can share. You can um, select to copy share that link. Now if you do that, I just clicked it and now it's a it's a, on the clipboard. I have that link and I can open up uh, an email or, or something where I can provide that link to that particular folder so that people can access. Now, please keep in mind that it allows you to um, make a copy of that link, but the permissions, um, the default permissions are still what you have set up in your Box Online account. So if your default setting is to make links available only to your your company, then only people within Goucher will be able to access that shared link. If you want to make that link available to everyone outside of Goucher, you need to change the permission settings within on your online account, and then that, that link will be available to outside Goucher. Now let's look at some of the other options. So we have email shared link. So if you have an email account set up, um, whatever the default email account is, if you click email shared link, it should open up your um, email application. In my case, it's Outlook. And then it brings up a new um, mail page and then it puts the link in place. And then all I have to do is just type uh, to who I want to send this link to, okay? And then the last option is to manage collaborators. Now, of course, there are no options to manage collaborators here. So when you click on the man manage collaborators, um, what it should do is open up your default browser and prompt you to enter your credentials. So then, then you can manage who you want to share those files with. Now, some of the things that um, you'll also notice uh, with Box Drive is that all your folder icons look the same. So if you have folders that were shared uh, that were shared with you um, and they're actually owned by other people, if you don't really know which ones those are, you can't really determine because all the folders are blue. Um, so you have to make sure if you want to make changes to a shared folder, it's probably best to check online first to make sure that you have 
have those editor rights and it's okay to do so. Um, it will prompt you if you try to change permissions and say, hey, you're not the owner, you can't, or you're not an editor, maybe you're just a viewer, that you do not have rights to do so. Um, but of course, that will only work if you're in the available online um, streaming way and not offline. Okay, so um, play around with those settings and um, that is it. Thank you.